<clears throat> what is good, people of YouTube? I'm Nick Fifty Two, the new YouTube, YouTube Productions, and today on R and D, that's Rant and Debate. For those who don't know, we're going to be talking about employment in GameStop. Why? Because I notice among the people that I talk to and hang out with, they are trying so hard to get them stuff a job at GameStop, and they're all like, "Fucking a man." GameStop will be fucking epic, man. It's the best thing I can find in the world for me because I'm a gamer and gamers work at GameStop. And um, it's just it just irritates me a little because it, they don't really know what's going on. People assume that just because they are a gamer, they should work at GameStop or something. Well, let's make this first point as clear as I can make it. Newsflash for those who want a job there so damn bad, this will probably disappoint you. Like I said, people assume that because you're a gamer, that you want to work at GameStop, and that's like a gamer's dream come true. Well, let me make this clear once again to people who don't even know what retail is. You are not playing any games at GameStop. Get that out of your head right now. It's not going to happen. You will be doing retail. That's the guy behind the counter sorting out the games, doing customer service and backroom stocking, and answering the phone. There's no game playing, there's no game testing, you don't take games home, you don't do any of that shit you think you are doing. It's really no different from having a job selling shoes at Payless or anywhere else. People want to work at GameStop because they think it's their passion for gaming. Well, let me give you another shocker. That's a bad move. Bad move for going for GameStop. GameStop, ironically, if you're a really, really heavy gamer, really means what his name. Game. Stop. <laughs> what, I was, what I mean is, working at GameStop will completely ruin your passion in gaming most of the time and probably just destroy it altogether. Because for one, GameStop, as I noticed myself as a customer, it seems to me that they really don't give a shit about the games or the products of gaming that even fucking work. You don't know how many times I've gone to GameStop and got a faulty product that literally almost everything I buy from GameStop breaks eventually. <laughs> For me, it's mostly controllers and brand new CDs from new games. I can't say much about used because, hey, it's used. But everyone, every time I buy a controller from GameStop, it breaks. Literally. It either a button mishap or a short in the cord, wireless receiver stops working, thumbstick broken, LR, what the hell ever's wrong with it. And uh, when I get a brand new game, it works for a while, then it just stops working altogether. I don't understand why, but maybe it's just my bad luck. But anyways, main thing is, you'd think at gaming retail company, people would care more about this kind of shit. But to me, it feels like they really don't. If you really love gaming, then GameStop probably is a no-no. They will change your entire passion like an inside-out burger. The next time you walk into GameStop, please, pay attention to the people working. It's like they are android robots on a play button all day and a broken record. They literally tell me the same fucking thing every time I go in. Welcome to GameStop, where we buy and sell used games where you can say a hundred or more on a PS3, Xbox 360, or Wii with, with an Edge or Rewards card. How may I help you? And when you ask for an existence or something, they literally keep asking you the same fucking time. Do you have an Edge or Rewards card? And you tell them no for the thousandth fucking time. And they go, you should really get one for $10. You can buy a magazine or get 10% off used games. When all I ask is where can I find Super Smash Bros. Brawl, I cannot find your store. Please explain to me how that little piece of shit have illuminated piece of paper is going to help me find this game in your raggedy ass kiosk. It doesn't. Stop telling me about it. Please. The reason they keep mentioning that stupid little sales booster is because they really don't care for about the actual gaming and stuff, how it seems. And when I say this, I mean the district and the company. They can care less about the customers. It seems like all they care about is numbers and unrealistic sales figures. When you work there, you'll find yourself more worse than someone that'll be under, let's say, the Patriots control. MGS reference there, folks. They will force you to keep reminding customers about their sales and discounts. They will keep trying to make you push their numbers and stats down you and the customer's throat. If that's not bad enough, you'll be forced to betray your own kind. Oh no! You will have to lie to a lot of customers that are gamers, just that are just like you or used to be. Not sure anymore. 
You will slowly recommend games to gamers that you know is ass tasting hair terrible or isn't even on the gamers criteria, you know, the customer. Like, you'll tell some kid that will love shooting games, nothing but shooting, Call of Duty, Battlefield, uh, stuff like that, uh, all of that type of stuff, and you will somehow will be forced, if, if, they, if it's time to be needed to, you will force to try to force that kid into playing Super Mario Galaxy, or telling them about a game you probably already played that's in his criteria that is really bad, but you have to turn the other cheek Look the other way and tell that customer in the eye that he, that buying that game is probably promising or a good recommendation. And if you can't do that, they will fire you really quickly and replace you with some other sap that thinks GameStop is the best job in the world because you're a gamer. The district will tear you apart and use you like a dog's play toy. And it really is bad. And however, to be really fair, it really depends on who you are that takes this approach. If you are someone who is actually really to work for below minimum wage, maybe a bit higher, I'm not exactly sure because I never worked there or planned to, I really just recommend you try the electronic department at Walmart. But if it's not really, but if not, it really is actually honestly a good start for a first job or something on the side. Like, but however, if you're someone who really don't want to work and is really trying to find a quick buck doing some shit they think you you already do at home on your couch naked with the cereal bowl and the chips and all that shit just surrounding you and you're just playing games all day and you assume that um yeah um since i do this i'm going to GameStop. then i and you're probably the one part pressing a dislike on this video but it's all right only thing i can really tell you is good luck if you're going for GameStop. <coughs> But really, it's as far as most things out there, GameStop really isn't that bad. You just better do some serious expectation check before you think it's something that's some kind of ultimate career, because it really isn't. However, if you were accepted to go there and it's like your first job ever, it really is a great place to start if you're going into retail. It teaches you the basics of the basics and it is exactly what you want to do then who's gonna stop you i mean if you want to do that kind of thing and you want to work at gamestop i'm not really going to stop you but if you're a really serious haver i mean heavy gamer and you're coming out of work at gamestop because you're a heavy gamer i i don't recommend it absolutely not it's like trying to buy a cheap 200 dollar or less laptop with intel integrated graphics and trying to play a battlefield game on it with that being said i think that's where i'm gonna have to stop honestly but anyways, take that knowledge of what I've told you. If you're a heavy gamer and you're trying to go into game stuff just because you're a heavy gamer and you think, ah, I might as well do this and this who knows game, it's not really the best choice, honestly. But um, anyways, it's let's um, with that all being said, let's hear from the viewers about your opinion about the employment here at GameStop. Go ahead, leave a comment below and how you think about this entire employment and what you have and if you got experience in GameStop please share if I if you feel like I've said things wrong or I'm in the wrong area this is just <coughs> what I call to see as a customer I have not worked there I don't plan to work there either because of the things I've seen but if you've worked there and you have experience go ahead and, and leave a comment below and while you're at it why don't you check out my previous R&D segments about gaming because me I you know I'm a gamer, so. <laughs> Anyways, check out my other segments about gaming. I do other things about the community and stuff like that. And also, check out my actual gaming videos. I do do a few commentaries and let's plays and stuff like that. And um, and remember, be the boss. And um, I say that you have to check around. I'll, actually, and I'll go into that. When I say be the boss, I mean two things. One, I'm really saying be your own boss for the people out there that are gaming on the uh, YouTube career i'm saying that and it also means be the boss be my boss because i've anyways you'll see more of it if you've gone into my more channel work i really don't feel like going over that <clears throat> but anyways be the boss and i'll see you all next time laters all this damn rain it's like crazy yeah we know you can climb this yeah got that new climbing ability oh shit no Oh, okay, I thought I was gonna die. I'm like, oh god, I just got the damn thing and I'm already trying to kill myself. <laughs> oh shit. Anyways, moving on. Tomb Raider style. 
I see that Laura got herself clean again. Man, she got dirty last time. It was a big mess. I don't know why I pay attention to that so much. Anyway.